Hello, and welcome to this video on using Python to run scripts for deep security. In this video, we'll walk through installing Python, configuring Eclipse with the Deep Security Python SDK, and then we'll run a sample script from the Deep Security Automation Center. Python can be downloaded from www.python.org. If we open the page in a browser and click on Downloads All Releases, we'll be given the option to download Python 3.7.2. We'll click the Download Python 3.7.2 button to start the download. Once the download is complete, we can find the file in Finder and run the installer. When the installer launches, we're going to click the Install Now. However, before we do that, we'll click the button to add Python 3.7 to Path. We'll need to run a command line to set up the Python SDK for deep security later on, so it's easier if we check this checkbox before we install. If you miss this, you can always add the path to your environment variables later. Now that we've checked the checkbox, we'll click Install Now. The install of Python will take a bit of time, so for brevity, I've clipped the video. Once the installer has completed, we can click the Close button to exit the installer. Now we'll open a command prompt and just ensure Python is installed and added to our path by running the command Python. We can see here that Python has been successfully installed. Now we're ready to set up and configure Eclipse with the Deep Security Python SDK. First, we'll go to the Deep Security Automation Center at automation.deepsecurity.trendmicro.com and we'll click the SDK button. We'll select the Python SDK and click the Download SDK button. Once the file is downloaded, we'll open the containing folder and extract the SDK. In order to run Python scripts in Eclipse, a plugin called PyDev is required. So we'll open Eclipse and under Help, Install New Software, we'll install the PyDev plugin. On the available software dialog, click the Add button at the top. This will open a new dialog. We'll enter PyDev as the name and we'll enter the location as pydev.org slash updates. Then click the Add button. Eclipse will check for software and give us a couple of options to install. We'll click the PyDev checkbox and then click Next. We'll confirm the install details and click Next. Finally, we can click the radio button to accept the license agreement and click Finish to start the PyDev install. You will be warned about unsigned content. I'll choose to install anyway. Once PyDev is installed, you'll be prompted to restart Eclipse. So we'll click the Restart Now button. Once Eclipse is restarted, we'll configure Eclipse to use the Python that we just installed. We'll go to Window, Preferences, PyDev, Interpreters, Python Interpreter. We'll click the Browse for Python slash PyPyExe. Now note that Python is installed in a hidden folder. So in File Explorer, if you click the little arrow on the right beside the blue question mark, you'll get a menu like you see in the video. If you then click the View tab on the right, you'll see a column with three checkboxes. One is titled Hidden Items. We want to select this. Now we can browse for Python and we'll be able to find it. By default, Python's location is in C, Users, the user you installed as, in my case Administrator, App Data, Local, Programs, Python, Python 37-32. We'll select Python and click Open. We'll click OK. We'll leave the default selected and click OK for the selection needed. Now we click Apply and Close to finish configuring PyDev to use the Python we installed earlier. Now we need to configure the Python SDK. So we'll open a command prompt and we'll navigate to the Python SDK folder that we extracted earlier.
To configure the SDK, we type pip install dot. Once this is done, we have finished with the configuration and we now need to test that everything has been set up correctly. We'll go back into Eclipse and under New, we'll select Project. We'll select PyDev and then PyDev Project and click Next. We'll give the project a name in this case, Deep Security Python example, and we'll click Finish. When prompted to open Perspective, I'll click No. Now I'll right click on the new project and select New File. We'll give the file a name, in this case, list underscore computers underscore example dot py. Now we'll go to the Deep Security Automation Center and we'll click on API Reference. We'll click on Computers on the left and then List Computers. We want the Python sample, so on the right, under Request Samples, we'll select Python. Then we can click anywhere on the script to enable the Copy button and we'll copy the contents to the clipboard. We'll go back into Eclipse and we'll paste this in to the file that we just created. Now we need to modify two lines to make the Python script run. First, we'll open a browser and go to our Deep Security Manager. We'll copy the URL, including the HTTPS and the colon 4119, and we'll paste that into our scripts in the Your Host location. We'll add slash API at the end to ensure we call the Deep Security APIs. Now we'll also replace your API key with the API key that we created in a previous video. We can save this file and we'll now attempt to run it. To do this, right click on the file and select Run As Python Run. If we've done everything properly, we will see output in the console on the bottom right of Eclipse. You can see here that we've gotten a response with data about the computers in this Deep Security Manager. Now you've seen how to install Python, configure Eclipse, and run a sample Python script. We encourage you to repeat this with other scripts available on the Deep Security Automation Center. Thank you.